In this video, we will demonstrate how easy it is to set up a micro localization with uh, our framework. It takes 10 minutes for 100 square meters open space. We just indicate the position of the beacon into the plan and the target zones it should detect. This is input in a JSON file, which is added to the project. Then we position the beacon into the room. We don't even need calibration. The application will show the, with the blue dots the position and with the red the, the closest zone. Now we're going to demonstrate in, in live. So we're going to move closer to, to some beacons and uh, it will, the application will update the position. Now we're moving to the room and we're moving to a new zone with our beacon. The application now change the, the value and you can see that it's very responsive and very fast you know and while still stable. How does it work? We didn't use uh, the Apple core location. Uh, the value are too discrete, uh, they are too slow. You typically end up with a far from every beacon so it's not really helpful. So um, to explain you how it works we, we computed some heat map in a settings and experimental setting with eight beacons. So each heat map corresponds to a beacon and we measure the signal of the proximity, the RSSC and, uh, and the weighted average that we use to compute the position. Um, so if you see here the, the, the proximity, now we're going to see uh, the RSSC. The RSSC is more, more continuous data, uh, but it's continuously changing and it lacks contrast. So even the dis distance, it's easy, difficult to estimate whether RSSC because of these fluctuating values. So what we did is uh, we, we applied uh, advanced mathematics uh, to filter the signal, to improve the contrast, to stabilize it, and we estimate the position through a weighted transroid localization algorithm, uh, which take into account all the visible beacon. And uh, you can see now the comparison between the RSSC and our uh, filter signal. Uh, you can see the contrast is much sharper, the zone are much well defined, and, and still continuous value, so it, it, you won't have the problem of threshold that you have uh, with the proximity. In the next comparison, you see the proximity uh, computed by Beacon and our weight, and so you see that really like the proximity is really not helpful and you end up with very, very different um, um, shape per beacon, uh, while our um, algorithm will have, let's, uh, let's say, uh, um, a more uniform behavior, depending on the settings. And it works both for iOS and Android. Thank you.